Warm temperatures are here with meteorological spring, and some people are already reporting allergies from pollen. And there's a new study that actually shows more carbon emissions in the atmosphere due to the burning of fossil fuels. Pollen counts are rising, and the annual allergy season is getting worse. That's from Climate Central. Dr. Timothy Quinn is up with us early this morning to talk about the upcoming allergy season. Hey, good morning, Dr. Quinn. Hey, good morning to you. So, Dr. Quinn, have you started to see any patients yet with pollen or allergy symptoms? Hey, I'm seeing patients coming in complaining of allergy symptoms. I even saw one patient this morning in the mirror. I saw myself. <laughs> I mean, this pollen season is, is going to be pretty rough, and it, people are already starting to come in, but we have to make sure that we assess them well to... to to determine if they have coronavirus or the flu or upper respiratory tract infection. And that's something that's a pretty hard task this year, especially coming out of this last Omicron surge. Yeah, it is kind of hard to tell. And But with pollen, Dr. Quinn, is there a typical peak? When is pollen the worst here in Mississippi? Or when do the worst allergies happen? Well, it's getting started right now. It's mostly the tree pollen, but as the time goes on through the month of March and April, it gets worse because you get more of the grass. But this is the beginning. But we want to let everybody know, go ahead and get those antihistamines like your Zyrtec, your Claritin, your Allegra. You can buy that over the counter. And if that doesn't work, then you can try the nasal steroid spray, which is over the counter as well. And if you don't get relief after that, Go ahead and be evaluated by your medical provider because there are some treatments out there that could be very effective. Mm, yeah, that's a good idea to go ahead and prep for the pollen. And Dr. Quinn, you've been practicing medicine for a while here in Mississippi. Over the last several years or a few decades, have you noticed pollen getting earlier over time or does it happen about the same year? Well, it's pretty, it's pretty typical. I mean, every year it comes, it starts about this year. You notice your car, it's, it's, it's yellow. You have to keep getting it washed every week. I'm sure those car wash people are really happy. But I'll tell you something very interesting. I actually looked at some research showing that when we wore the mask, it actually helped with the pollen. But now that we're releasing some of those mask mandates, it might be a little bit worse this year. So everybody hated that mask, but we might miss our mask a little bit. So if you see me walking with the mask on, I'm just fighting that pollen, trying to make it through this pollen season. Oh, yeah, so the mask can help. So, Dr. Quinn, is there anything else that we can do to kind of alleviate those pollen or allergy symptoms? Most definitely. I mean, there are things you can do. One thing you want to do is decrease your exposure. For instance, during the times of the day when it's, you know, just a lot of pollen out, maybe stay indoors more if you can. And when you come inside after work, go ahead and take those clothes off and go ahead and take a shower. You have the pollen all in your hair. And that way you can kind of decrease the pollen count in your house and keep your windows and doors closed and use your air conditioners. That way you can keep the pollen out. At least you can get a, a break when you're in your home. Oh, yeah. Good wise words there. Thanks, Dr. Quinn. I hope your allergies get better, too. We appreciate you getting uh, up with us this morning. Hey, thank you. And I'll keep these Kleenex handy. Hey, perfect. Okay, we'll be back here with more 12 News right after this.